What's up guys? Welcome back to Satisfactory. Thanks for joining me. If you're new, welcome to the channel. So, it's nighttime. The lights look... Well, they look, um... Too damn bright, basically, I think. I don't know, and there's weird shadows I need to put more lights or spread these around, maybe? I don't know. Uh, nothing is running because everything is full. So I'm just leaving it. I'm not gonna worry about it. I did disconnect it from the grid so I can isolate it and focus over here, up there, which I'll show you in a second. And, um, yeah, I was going to build onto this. However, I have another idea and I want to connect a building and I don't want to build on this until I have another building over here with the, uh, the iron right here. But before that, I want to work on copper stuff and things up there and I'll show you what I have going on so far. All right, this is the initial layout. We got five smelters sitting here. This is an MK3 overclock to 350 a minute. We have the belt here, but I don't want it feeding these yet, so I'm, I'm not gonna hook this up just yet. We need to set down 10 constructors. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, 10 constructors, so five here, five here, and then three on the outside. Um, I did mess around with the blueprint designer, and that's what this is all about and uh, we're gonna lay these down on each side facing in just like that approximately in, in line with this it doesn't have to be perfect uh, the splitters and mergers are gonna take care of everything anyway and then we're gonna put three right here There's all that. All these are going to be producing wire. These are producing cable. But four of these are designated for wire only. Six of these are going to be going into these for the cable. That's going to give us 100 wire a minute, 100 cable a minute, and then the next floor will be 100 uh, copper sheets a minute. And now all we have to set up all the mergers and splitters, so I'm going to do that, and then I'll bring you back. Alright, this is the floor plan that I have going on right now. I think I have the belts right. This is an MK2. These are all MK1. And this is also an MK1. Alright, I think that's right. That's 60. I think it's cut in half, so... 30, 45, MK1, and this is MK2. That should be fine. <laughs> We're, we'll find out later. So anyway, the uh, wire goes from these four up and over, and there will be storage here, a double-decker storage, or whatever that storage is called. Industrial storage. We'll just put one here right now. Just like that. So the bottom one will go in here. The top will go in the top, obviously. And then, actually, you know what? Because that mixes, doesn't it? I don't like that it mixes. Can we stack? That would be ideal. Yeah, that's better. I like that. It keeps it separated. So everything should be plumbed and ready to go. Except for up here. I need to hook this up still. Might as well do that now, actually. MK1, MK1. So what is that? Uh, that's going to be cable. It's 30, 30, 60, 90. So MK2. And this is all going to be wire. 
30. So 30, 60, it's 120. Also MK2. That's going to clip, and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It does kind of look cool, though. I wonder... Maybe it won't clip that bad. It's going to clip on that light. That's fine. We'll pretend it's made that way. I guess the only thing left to do is hook up the ore. Well, I gotta turn everything on first. So I might as well get everything rolling. That's all copper ingot. And all these are gonna be wire. And these are cable. Nope. I said cable. Alright, holy crap, I think I figured it out. It's a little unorthodox, but it does work. So these first four are at 25 a minute. This, these two, and these two, 25 a minute. Same with these, these two, and these two, 25 a minute. The center one, 50, and that one is also 50. That gives me 200 a minute. For these six 100 a minute for these four so that's 100 a minute for the copper wire 200 a minute for the copper wire which is fed into the cable which is 100 a minute so we got 100 a minute wire 100 a minute cable everything is running it's been at these same numbers for about 20 minutes this one could probably be overclocked a little more and then underclock these. But I'm not going to mess with it because these have been stable. Everything is running. I'm going to hook up the grid real quick, see what we have, and then uh, move on from there. Alright guys, I got everything plumbed in. I ran the wiring like this. It's a little cleaner. You see one right here. Comes down the side. That doesn't look terrible, except for this, but it's just temporary, just so we can get a grid reading. And it's completely flat, 98.9. I think the decimals is because everything's underclocked or overclocked. I did change the belt a little bit because that was making it jump around, because I had the, uh, I had this overclocked for 350, and that's for the entire building, not just this floor. So 150 is what this is overclocked right now for this setup. And then these two, or I'm sorry, these four, are 25 a minute, which makes 100. This one is 50, as long, and that one is 50. All four of these are 25, and it's working. So we are getting 100 wire, 100 cable which we're going to throw away so it doesn't turn off. And there you have it. It works. It's efficient. It's a little unorthodox. Uh, I know that mergers and splitters, you can merge things and yada yada yada. These are MK5 belts. Everything else is right here is all MK1. MK1 on the inside and on this side, MK1. Uh, this is MK1. This is, I believe this is 3. That's uh, an MK2. MK2, MK2. That's MK3. 3 and 3. This is a 1. That's 1. And then over here, also MK. That should be MK5. Wait, do I have that? Oh, well, that's MK4, not 5. And then 1. Yeah. It works. 
100% efficient, a little unorthodox with the belts, but I don't know. It appears to be working just fine. It's been sitting at these numbers for a little while now. Unfortunately, I'm out of time, though, so we're going to have to do the top four on the next episode, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with the iron. I have an idea. We're building a, a larger building, but kind of hooking them up, like walkways, catways, or tunnels. We'll figure that out in the next episode. Thanks for joining me. If you want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Wallpop Gaming, and I will see you in the next one.